If you take a look at this PDF, the first line has a linear um, version of that non-atonic scale. But um, you know what I what I've done is I've broken broken these things down into groups and I've in, and I've given them um, you know chord assignments. So right here, um, the second line down, you have a C, D, and a G. So for me, that would represent like a C major set without the other tones. But then if you, if you move to the next set of um, parentheses, you have um, E, F sharp, and B, which I would call a C major 7 sharp 11 without the other tones. And then this third thing, the third group with the A flat, B flat, and E flat, I see that as um, a G7 alt. And there are times if I'm playing in, in the key in, in C major, um, what I do is I'll play play through those that cycle, and I always get that dom that dominant function, the G7 alt. You know, I don't play a chord instrument. I I would call it more like a melodic playing. And then if we go down below that, I also use. So basically, we're using that as um, C C major, but if you look below that and you see D7 sus, that C and the D and the G actually have this, you know, pretty much suggest that you have a D7 sus. And then if you go down below the um, C major seven sharp 11, D13 with the E, F sharp, and B, looks like a D, a D13 without, without the root. And this last one, can be a number of things. Now, from the top down, if we, if you look at the first two chords, G7 uh, alt and the G7 flat nine sus four, those are um, related to C major. But below that, where you have the D7 alt, well, actually, um, F, the F minor eleven and the B flat seven sus all related to that. Um, that C major. And the D7 alt is basically a part of that, that planning process that I was thinking about. So you have, if you have um, like A minor to D7, so you're, you're, you would wind up playing the voicings D7 sus, moving to D13 and moving to D7 alt with those, with those three note groups. Or something based on that non-atonic scale, because I think that one is like, like, that might be the one that's uh, uh, most unfamiliar to me. I've been trying to work on this um, Lenny Lenny White tune, and I just have like a quick a quick clip of that that I can play. Because over the first section of it, that's that's where I'm playing that non-atonic thing. So just on the first section, but if I mean if you hear the second section, you can hear me playing like um you know just a pretty much a straight minor two five going to you know this resolution. <laughs> So there was also um, some like augmented scale stuff, just me practicing and uh, you know, trying to hear what I, I want to, um, you know, eliminate. Mm -hmm. 